and that. Okay, what what which verse do you say it is? I I remember uh, you have finished the twenty three. Yes, Where was that? In the purple. In the purport. Okay. I don't know. I don't have this mark to tell. Are you sure about this? Okay, Chaksurun militanye na tasmai shri gurave namaha Vancha kaupata rubyascha kripa sindhu bhayevacha Patitanam pavane bhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha Jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda Shri advaita gadara shri vasati gaur bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're reading the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. We're on the first part of the, the first chapter of the first part of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. And we're hearing how Parikshit has been, has been requested by his mother, Uttara, to describe the essence of what he heard from Sukadeva Goswami. There's water there. There's still water. Yeah. yeah. You want to fill it again? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, it's mentioned that everything in the Srimad Bhagavatam is essential. It's not, it's, there's nothing unnecessary. Everything which is there should be there. But certainly some parts of the Bhagavatam are more attractive to some devotees than to others. And there are, there are 
devotees, there are wonderful Vaishnava devotees, they, they actually have no attraction for hearing anything except Srimad Bhagavatam. Just like new, 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 new devotees coming to Krishna consciousness, taking up devotional service, once they come to Krishna consciousness, they, they have no interest anymore in Jnana Yoga. In the same way, people who are trying to get liberation, they lose their interest in the material development and worldly pleasures because they're trying for liberation, so they have no more interest in material sense gratification. Every, everything, every discussion in the Srimad Bhagavatam glorifies Krishna. But Pure devotees sometimes they can they think that passages which are not describing the intimate glories of Krishna, they think this is not very important. So those devotees who are, who are self-realized, we have to allow them to have their preference. We can't stop that. They have their preferences. You can't stop that. But devotees who are neophyte devotees, like all of us, we are neophyte devotees, we shouldn't try to imitate those devotees. And devotees who still have, if we know we still have some faults in our, in our behavior or in our sadhana, then we should try to strictly follow the teachings of the Srimad Bhagavatam from the very beginning. And if we study the Bhagavatam systematically in that way, then one day we will gradually be able to taste the nectar which is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So devotees like Sukadeva Goswami, Narada Muni, people on that level, they have all contributed to the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. And this book, this, this Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, this is approved by the great sages like Parashara and Vyasadeva. The, the, the benefit of the Srimad Bhagavatam is that the absolute, uh, the benefit of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita is that the absolute truth is presented very clearly. Da 
their books on yoga and mantras, but their message is often vague, it's not very clear. And then there are also books which are not authorized, which are not really honest. They're not presented in any kind of parampara. And then you've got books by, some books are written by unqualified authors who, who they, they actually have nothing to say, but they're writing books. And they, they, won't, they won't say anything to uh, attack anyone or criticize anyone or point out the wrong in anyone because they're afraid they might lose people. Yeah, they don't because they don't want to lose people who read the books. So the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam is explained to Mahar by Maharaj Parikshit to his mother Uttara. And it's, it's considered, this is the highest summary of Vedic knowledge. So once there was a group of great sages at Prayag, which is considered the, the best of pilgrimage places. And they were there during the month of Mag, which means mid January to mid February. Yeah, at that time there's many festivals there, there's many auspicious days which take place for bathing in the, in the, in the, where the Ganga meets the Yamuna. So the sages had taken their bath and they were sitting in front of the deity of Madhava. And they were praising each other. One would say to the other, you are the you have received the you've received the most mercy of Krishna. So these sage these devotees, they were very humble devotees and they didn't like to be praised. So if somebody tried to praise them, they tried to change it. They didn't say, no, 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 not me, somebody else. So they, they, all, they had very good qualities and they, they, they could honestly, when they said to another person that you are the best devotee of Krishna, you're the most dear devotee of Krishna, they actually meant it, they were not joking. So 
So when devotees are appreciating each other like this, then it's a very good sign and that means that community, that association of devotees will do very, they'll develop very nicely. So this Prayag is the most holy place because it's right at the place where the Ganga meets the Yamuna. And the sages were there at the most auspicious time, which is that time in the mid January to mid February. There's a quote from Data Treya. Data Treya is an incarnation of the Supreme Lord. And Data Treya has said that the Supreme Lord Madhava is not so much pleased when we do charity or penance or vows. But he's more pleased when we take a bath in the month of Mark. Madhava is the, 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 the main deity at Prayag. And after the, all the devotees had taken their bath, they were all sitting in front of Madhava and they were feeling very fortunate to be together in the association with such a pure atmosphere at such an auspicious time. So at that time, a very pure first class Brahmana arrived there. He arrived at the, at the place there in, on the side of the Ganga called Das Ashwamedha Tirtha. And he was fully absorbed, this Brahmana was fully absorbed in devotional service. And he had all the good qualities and he was this, he was this, the, the, like the guru of that place. He had many followers, many students. So this Brahmana was preparing to distribute food. He wanted to feed all the local Brahmanas. And he collected all kinds of valuable items to worship the Lord. And but before he gave charity, first of all, he purified a large area of that ground. And then he built a nice altar and he covered it with mud with his own hands and then he made a canopy to cover the altar. And 
，他用泥土，嗯，把它用泥土覆盖了，然后之后又在上面呃制作了一个滑盖。So that Brahmana had come there to do. He was going to worship the deity of Krishna at the Dasashwamedha Ghat in front of all the people. So this Brahmana, he was going to worship the deity of Krishna at the Dasashwamedha Ghat. He was the leader. He was the spiritual authority in that place, and he was very rich and he was very influential. 是这个地区的灵性的权威，他非常富有，而且有影影响力。And he was a fully surrendered devotee. 他也是全然臣服的奉献者。Everything he had, he would use it for Krishna's service. 无论他拥有什么，他全部都用来服务 Krishna. So. By his service, he not only satisfied Krishna, but he satisfied everyone else. He he, through his own service, not only satisfied Krishna, but also satisfied everyone else. Actually, it was at it was at this place, this Dash Ashwamedha Ghat, that Sri La Rupa Goswami had taken instruction from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for ten days. 就在同一个大沙石碑的，嗯，大沙石碑没的 God 这个地方，嗯，是的，如何告诉阿弥，从主财的两马帕巴马帕布那里连续十天接受了他的教导。So he placed Lord Krishna's form in the Lord. He was worshiping Lord Krishna's form in the form of a shaligram shila, and he put it on the altar and worshipped it with great devotion. 嗯，这位 Brahmana 崇拜的是 Krishna 的 Shagram Shila 菊石的形象，他就把这个 Shagram Shila 安置在神坛上。And he did all the different ceremony rituals for worshiping the Shagram. 他从事他做了每一个仪式来崇拜 Shagram Shila. The Shagram is only worshipped by Vaishnava Brahmanas. And it's a deity form of Lord Vishnu. Shalagram Shila is Vaishnava Brahmana, Vaishnava Brahman, worshipped Shen Shenji. Um, he is the Lord Vishnu. Yes. Uh, and and these shalagrams they all come from the Himalayas, high up in the Himalayas, from a special, a very sacred river there called the Gandaki. 这些菊石都出自喜马拉雅山高高的山路上，来自甘达基河。If a Brahmana is very expert, then he can tell you which particular form of Vishnu that Shila represents. 如果一位 Brahmana 是非常干练，他可以确切的来说出。这个菊石到底是主威士的哪一个形象 ？There's different markings on each stone, so the different markings represent different incarnations of Vishnu. 每一块石头上都有独一无二的标志，这些标志就代表了主威士的特定化身。So he 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 want he made offerings to the deity. He offered food and clothing. And different items. This Brahmana, 于是一样一样的，就像神像，能供奉了食物、布以及其他的物品。Although and although he was doing everything on his own, he made it like a festival, and he had dancing and singing and playing music. 虽然他是一个人在那里从做供奉，但是。他却呃把它营造了像一个节日的氛围，他载歌载舞，而且弹奏着乐器。So when we worship the deity of the Lord, we should first of all we should consider the deity like an honorable guest coming to our house, and the first thing we should do is offer water to wash his feet. 
尊主的神像。嗯的形体的时候，我们应当把他作为来到家中的来呃，当做贵宾来崇拜。首先要向他的足供奉鼻足水。And you should give some scented water for drinking, and other different items for, you know, whatever is the etiquette. 给他供奉呃带有香气的水，还有其他的呃按照。标准的礼仪，应当供奉的物品。You can give them like sandalwood paste. Put some sandalwood chandan paste on their forehead, or give a flower garland. No, offer a nice seat. 可以给他们呃，给他供奉檀香，在额头上供奉檀香、姜叶，还有佩戴上花环，以及嗯，给他提供一个很好的座位。And then we should feed the deity, and we should offer different gifts. For example, cloth. We should also give the deity the gift of food, and also give the deity a gift of clothing. We can offer also different fragrant water, like perfumes and incense. 或者是给他呃供奉不同的香水、香水或者是供香。And of course, we offer the lamp, the ghee lamp, when we do RT. 而且，就像我们在做 RT 的时候，我们也他给他供奉灯。And that that lamp which we're offering, that light, the idea is that it should show the entrance of our house. Because the guests may be arriving at the night, so you want to show them where the entrance into your house is. So you offer the gila. 嗯，这个酥供奉的酥油灯就代表的是，当一个人呃宾客来到家中的时候，可能是在夜晚的时候到来的，所以就给他供奉酥油灯，好给好让他看清这个呃家中的这通道。So this one brahmana who is doing all the worship, he then began to offer, make offerings to the brahmanas who were present, to the other brahmanas who were there. So this one do the brahman brahmana, he now starts to give to other brahmanas to worship them. And these brahmanas were all expert. And the Vedas and the Puranas and other scriptures. And he offered his respects to the sannyasis and the grihastas and the brahmacharis. He also like. 其他的萨尼亚西托波僧、居士、镇守僧致敬。And he honored all the devotees who were always happy to enjoy the enjoy glorifying Krishna. They were all happy to see Krishna being glorified. 嗯，接着他又荣耀了其他的奉献者，这些奉献者们全都津津乐道的享受。So he was encouraging all the respectable people who were there by speaking nice words and nice behavior. He just like this, in a friendly way, with a friendly tone, encouraged all the people who were there. And then he placed on his head. The water that had washed their feet. 接着，他又把嗯，给他们这些人沐浴的沐浴鼻足水、洗脚的水，放在自己的头上。And the different items which he'd offered to the Lord, he then offered to these guests, to these. Uh, he then offered, he offered to these brahmanas, he offered them the food and the different items, whatever he was offering to the deity. He gave all that prasadam. He gave it to all these brahmanas. 嗯，接着他把供奉给至尊主的所有这些物品呢，一件一件的
又拿来供奉给，就是把它当做祭鱼 p r 的，呃，给派发给其他的 Brahmana。There are some there are some brahmanas who they like to show off their knowledge and they will argue with other people and defeat them. But the devotee brahmanas they like to they like to simply use their energy to hear and chant about Krishna. 但是，嗯，奉献者 Brahma 呢，喜欢把能量、精力用来聆听，仅仅是用来聆听和唱诵 Krishna。Some devotees are Brahmanas by birth and by their behavior。有些，嗯，奉献者，他们一出生就是 Brahmana， 他们外在的品质、外在的行为举止也表现为是 Brahmana。Uh, pure, pure, pure devotees can be. They can come from any position in society. Even they may come from very low position in society. It, it, but it doesn't matter. They can be pure devotees. 但是纯粹的奉献者可以是来自任何一个。低等的社会阶层，他们低等的社会阶层也可以成为纯粹的，呃，是哪奉献者。And and and these kind of devotees, they're actually better than the ordinary brahmanas by birth. 这种奉献者，他们实际上比那些，呃，出生，按照出生成为婆 brahmana 的，嗯，人更，呃，他们地位要高于他们。So the the pure devotees, they will they will only argue with people for the purpose of advancing Krishna consciousness. 纯纯粹的奉献者与人开始辩论，目的只是为了在 Krishna 之觉中取得进步。Or if there's some criticism of another Vaishnava, then they may defend that Vaishnava. 或者是如果其他的 Vaishnava 遭到批评，所以为了来，呃，为为了来保护、保卫他们的，呃，为了来维护其他的 Vaishnava， 他们与他与其他人展开辩论。Just like, uh, there was one man, Brahmana, he was going everywhere, and he came to Vrindavan, and he asked Rupa and Sanatan. That I will debate with you, and if I defeat, defeat you, then you have to sign this paper, saying that I've defeated you. 嗯，就好比有一次呢，有有一个学者就到处的周游，他与人辩论。呃，他有一次来到文达文，他找到 Rupa 和 Sanatan 呢，就向他们俩发出挑战，说如果我赢了你们，你们就要签署一个文件来声明你们。Hmm. So Jiva Goswami, when he had, Rupa, Rupa and Sanatan, when the Brahmana came to them, they just signed the paper and said, "Oh yeah, okay, you defeated us." And they signed the paper, but they didn't want to waste time arguing hmm. with them. Uh, Rupa and Sanatan, ah, 当即就马上就签签在那个纸上签了字，声明，呃，好吧，那你辩你。But, but when when he went to Jiva Goswami, Jiva Goswami argued with him and defeated him very badly. But when when he went to Jiva Goswami, Jiva Goswami argued with him and defeated him very badly. And so Sanatan Goswami was quite upset with him and told him. He said, "You're not humble." He said, "You should not have done that." Rupa Goswami 就对 Jiva Goswami 感到非常的有点生气，就对他说：“你不应该这么去做。” Vaishnava, he said, "You should be humble. You should, you should not argue with this foolish people." 
，嗯，他说，你当谦卑，你不应该跟这个蠢人来争论。But the acharyas point out that Jiva Goswami did it to defend the honor of the Vaishnavas. Are you there? Hari Bo? Hari Krishna? Guru Mani? Guru Mani, are you there?
Howdy Bo. Howdy Bo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Do you hear us? We can hear you. Yeah, but the line keeps breaking on. Oh, it's really bad. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay, we'll go ahead. So, we're on text number 34. The Brahmana conducted this festival honouring the Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. And he, he dealt with, he gave them, he spoke very encouraging words to them. And he was very respectful in his behavior to them. And he did things like he washed their feet and he offered arti to them and different things. And then he fed everyone, including even the most fallen people who were in a very low social position. And he satisfied even animals like the dogs and the jackals and even the birds and insects. So people of low position in, the, in, in society, they're usually considered to be very fallen. And if people are very poor, and if they're hungry even, they don't have proper food to eat, then they're considered very, you know, very wretched, very, you know, inauspicious people. But actually, the, the people who are the most unfortunate and who are the most inauspicious, they're those people who have no devotion for the Supreme Lord. So, if we want to worship the Supreme Lord by Sankirtan, then we have to give up expecting to be respected by others. And we have to practice showing respect to others. But, of course, we will show more, more respect according to the position of the person. Yeah, we cannot, we cannot show love for, we cannot show the same kind of love and respect for a tiger as we would for a, a devotee.
And if people are, are if people are not of good character, and if they if and if they're not if they don't have good, proper faith in Krishna consciousness, then we should be careful about getting too close to them. So in this way, this one brahmana, he satisfied everyone, all the people present, they were all satisfied. So after everyone was satisfied, then they told the man, they told this brahmana that you can take your, you can now take the remnants, you can take prasadam. So that brahmana called his family members and all of his followers and and they all sat together and they took prasadam happily. So this is the Vedic culture that when people come, they're like guests and we have to feed them first. And then, and then the host with his family and servants, then they take prasadam. Mm, and, and, and all the food, of course, has been offered to Krishna, and it's all prasadam. And so then the Brahmana went to the Shaligram Shila of Lord Krishna, and he folded his hands and offered offered all the credit for his activities to Krishna. So when you do a, a, yagna, a yagna like that, the different mantras which we chant, they're all, they're all saying that everything is offered, everything actually belongs to the deity which we're worshipping. But when we do Vedic rituals, we we may op, we will also say about surrendering, and we should not keep any material ambition. So pure devotional service is when we make the offerings only for the pleasure of the Supreme and we don't have any desire ourselves for anything. So then that Brahmana put his Shaligram Shila comfortably to rest and he got ready to go home. And Narada Muni had been watching him and Narada Muni then came over to him to speak to him. And 
And Narada Muni said to this Brahman, he said, he was saying to the Brahmana that this, this is the Supreme Lord Vishnu's most dear devotee. And Narada Muni ran up to the Brahmana and he declared to the, he told the Brahmana that you are the, you have received Krishna's greatest mercy. And Narada, Narada Muni spoke it out loudly so everybody could hear. Narada Muni himself is always eager for devotional service. Narada Muni so Narada Muni had been watching this Brahmana put on this festival, one man festival. And and he was Narada Muni was tasting ecstasy he was feeling ecstasy watching the man. And he was experiencing love, the pure love. He was feeling so much love, that's why he called out in this way to everyone, telling them that this man has got, he's had, he's got, Krishna has given him the greatest mercy. Actually, all of Krishna's devotees are dear to Krishna. And when Krishna, when Krishna really feels some favor to someone, then uh, that's then then this is a very confidential relationship between the devotee and Krishna. So Narada knew that Krishna favors some people more than others. So Narada Muni is talking about Krishna's most dear servant. And of course Krishna's most dear servant is Srimati Radharani. But this Brahmana he is also aware of his own devotional service. He, un he understands that he's not the greatest devotee. But Narada Muni is speaking for the benefit of the people there. And he also wants to understand more. He wants to search, Narada Muni wants to search out Krishna's best devotees. And this is what's going to happen in this first part of the Brihad Bhagavatamrita. 
，嗯，这个就是在这部《大伯教堂甘露》第一部分的主旨。So Narada Muni said to the Brahmana, he said, "Oh, you have received Krishna's greatest mercy." Narada 就对这位婆罗门说，哦，你得到了 Krishna 最了不起的恩赐了。You have wealth, and you have property, and you you have so much personal opulence, but also you're very generous. 你这么有富有。呃，你有这么多的财产，你你的个人的富裕也是这么也是这么的多。除此之外，你还这么慷慨大度。So Narada Muni says to him, "We have seen that you are using all your all your assets, whatever you have, you are using it for pure purposes." The Brahmana's opulence was all the different paraphernalia which he had, like he had vehicles and different clothing. And then all of his followers. He had false students and family and friends. 嗯，这位 Brahman 的富裕，呃，就是展示在他有许多的随身用具，包括他的嗯车辆、呃衣服，还有他的追随者、家人们。And its pure purpose is actually to show us devotional service to the Supreme Lord. So the Brahmana, he did not, he did not misuse anything which Krishna had given him. He did not use anything for sense gratification. 这位婆罗门，他并没有滥用，呃，他他的所有的富裕来用作个人的感官享乐。Whatever he had, it had come to him by devotional service, by the blessings of Krishna. 他拥有的一切都是源于他从事奉献服务。He had not been trying to get all of these things. He had not been anxious to get more material wealth or more material power. He himself did not have the effort to get more material wealth or more material power. He himself did not have the effort to get more material wealth or more material power. <coughs> At the same time, he couldn't hide all of his opulence. 与此同时，他根本就没办法藏起来他所有这些富裕。So he was trying to use it for the service of Krishna. 因此，他把这些富裕都用来来服务 Krishna. So this Brahmana did not like Narada Muni praising him like this. 所以这位婆罗门。And so he says to Narada Muni, he said, "Oh, oh, master!" He calls Narada Muni master, and he said, "What sign is there of Krishna's mercy? What sign do you see in me of Krishna's mercy?" So this master said to Narada Muni, he called him master. He said, "What sign is there of Krishna's mercy?" 你在我身上看，从哪里哪个迹象来表明了 Krishna 对我仁慈了 ？And he said to Narada, he said, "I'm a very fallen person." 嗯，他对 Narada 说，我是一个极为堕落的人。I'm not able. How much? I'm not able to give much charity. 我我并不不能给予许多的布施。And I, I don't have much opulence. I 
And I've never reciprocated with the Lord Krishna in devotional service. So a real devotee of Krishna will always think of himself to be very insignificant. And he will think of himself, uh, he will think of himself as just one, a very tiny part of Lord Krishna's opulence. And the devotee also feels sorry that he's been so foolish to come into the material world. And he thinks also that whatever influence he has against the, the jivas here in the material world is very, very insignificant. So this Brahmana, he is going to send Narada Muni to another person. He will tell Narada Muni, I am not a great devotee. If you want to see a great devotee, you go and see this person. So he tells him, he tells him that in the southern region there's a great king whose kingdom has many temples and they worship Krishna, they were but they also worship the demigods. But he's a, a real recipient. He's really got Krishna's mercy. And devotees, they will come to his kingdom from all different directions and they will come with visitors, they will bring people to come for doing pilgrimage. And everybody who comes there, they're giving food, they're giving Krishna prasada. So the ruler in that kingdom, he is actually the king over many different, over other different regions as well. He's like the main king. He's not the highest, that the highest position is the Chakravarti, that's the highest position. Just like Maharaj Yudhisthira, he was like the emperor, so he oversaw all the different kingdoms. So this king, he will also be called Sarvabhoma because his kingdom occupied a big area. And many great devotees moved to live in his kingdom. They were attracted by the, the good qualities, the devotee qualities of the king. 
，许多的奉献者呢，都纷纷搬搬到了，把家搬到了他的国度，因为他们都受到这个国王的奉爱的品质吸引。So many different kinds of people all came to that kingdom. Different people, like pilgrims, who came to purify themselves. 嗯，所以有各式各样的人就纷纷涌入了他的国家，嗯，包括那些来朝圣的人们。And some people came just because they were in search of food and shelter, so they came there. 他有的人仅仅是为了获得一份食物，获得一份庇护所，来到那里。And everybody took advantage of this to get nice prasadam being distributed freely to everyone in the kingdom. So they all were used to using their country free distribution of these delicious prasadam to everyone in the kingdom. So near the king's palace, the 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 supreme lord. Personality of Godhead resides in His original form of eternity, bliss, and knowledge. In this king's palace, the Supreme Lord of Heaven resides in His original form of eternity, bliss, and knowledge. In this king's palace, the Supreme Lord of Heaven resides The Lord has taken a non; he doesn't move. He's taken a form like a deity, so he is not moving. 嗯，他主呢，就是一个神像的不不移动的神像的形象，呃，显现在那里。At least according to our material eyes, it appears the deity is standing in one place. He doesn't move. 至少根据我们普通的肉眼看来呢，神像就是在那里不动的站在那里。But we should understand that the deity also lives in the spiritual world. 但是我们要明白，神像它与此同时，它也在灵性世界生活着。And he has just taken the form of the deity so that everyone can see him. 那之所以就化身为神像的形式。So when Krishna, the Lord has many different incarnations for his pastimes, and he will show many different, he will do many different things with his devotees. 嗯，主就为了上演他的逍遥时光，展示了不同的形象。而且他和他的众多的奉献者之间都有着互动。But it's very rare to see him in this world. 嗯，但是能在这个世界上，嗯，十分罕见能够看见他。But in this king's kingdom, in the king's capital, he has a Vishnu deity, which is very powerful and very attractive, that all the citizens almost forget. That he's a deity. They think of the deity as a real person, and just like you and I, and they want to talk to the deity. 但是就是在这个国王的首都有一个威士诺的神像，这就是这尊神像是如此的强大有力，有吸引力，以至于臣民们都忘记了他是一个不动的一尊不动的神像，就像。呃，你我彼此之间这样的，他们都跟这个神像在交流对话。So in that kingdom, there's always a festival celebrated. 在这个国家，嗯，恒常的就举办着一个永恒的节日。And all the time they're making new offerings and they're doing different worship. 嗯，他们总是在做出。The worship in the temple never becomes never becomes ritualistic or stale, meaning with no taste. 在主庙主要的神庙所进行的崇拜，它从来都不是一种机械的仪式仪式。
And they would always introduce new things to worship the deity. So the devotees have so much interest to please the Lord. And everything the people did in the kingdom, everything they did, it pleased, it not only pleased the, it, the, the king and the people, but it also pleased the deity. And the king feeds all the people in the country, and he feeds also all the foreign visitors with Krishna or Vishnu Prasadam. So to, to accommodate all the visitors and all the people, the king had many temples of Vishnu throughout the kingdom. But the main temple was very famous for its worship and for prasada. Haribo? Uh, Haribo doesn't need my battery is out. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. But in his temple, the temple of his temple, the temple of his temple is very famous. Uh, 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 and they get many advanced devotees coming from other countries. They come to live in the kingdom. They come to stay in the kingdom. They're very eager to see the, the deity and to taste the remnants of the food offered to the deity. And they also want to get the association of the advanced devotees. So as well as pure devotees, you've got all kind, different kinds of spiritual people coming. Some people are dressed as holy men, but the, spiritually, they may not be fully qualified. But they're, they're also treated with respect. And even the cats and dogs get prasada. But for spiritual guidance, you have to approach the, the, the genuine followers of the parampara. The king had given away his kingdom to the demigods and brahmanas. Yeah, they divided it amongst themselves. And in his kingdom, there is no sorrow, there's no misery, there's no disruption, and there's no fear. The king gave to the to the deities of the different temples 
and to the brahmanas of each place, he gave them the title to all the parts of the kingdom. He can, the king considered himself just to be like the caretaker of the kingdom and he considered himself to be under the authority from his actual owners. So in that kingdom, the earth was giving crops without people plowing the fields, without planting anything. And the rain was just enough to, for the comfort of people. And whatever fruit and vegetables and cloth we need, it's easy, easy, it was easy to, to get. So it said in the Christian Bible that God punished Adam because he rebelled. So God cursed him that outside the Garden of Eden he would have to he would have to plow the field and he'd have to work to earn his food. Yeah, it, 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 in the Bible it says, by the sweat of his face, he will earn his food. So in the Bible they tell about how Adam and Eve had enjoyed the fruit in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> so uh, they they enjoyed the fruit without having to farm. They didn't do any farming, but still they were enjoying the fruit. So thousands of years before that, before this Bible incident, in South India, it was like that. And the, the rain was just enough to get a good crop. And it would usually just rain in the night, so it wouldn't disturb people. And the citizens all were happy to follow the king just like they were his children. At the same time, they did their duties, whatever responsibilities they had in life, and they were all devoted to Krishna. 
，他们与此同时，他们都履行各自的社会职责。嗯，他们都应应做了这应尽的义务，他们都是主 Krishna 的忠诚的奉献者。So all the citizens they followed the king's instructions and they wanted to show the example of his good character. 嗯，所有的市民们都嗯遵纪守法，遵守国王的指令，他们都要都想要追随。So this king was all; he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had any pride. He was very humble. This king, his heart, he never had And he pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. He's very dear to the Lord. He pleases all the people. But this king was a very pure Vaishnava. 而这个国王是一个心地纯洁的 Vaishnava. And he was happy to serve the Lord in in the most humble manner. 嗯，他非常的喜悦的以最谦卑的方式来服务至尊主。He would even wash the floors of the temple. And he. 他甚至 Keep the lamps in the temple full with oil. And he did. He did this not just to make a show to show people that he was humble, but he did it out of genuine devotion for. The pleasure of the Lord. He did this not only to make a show to show people that he was humble, but he did it out of genuine devotion for the pleasure of the Lord. He did this not only to make a show to show people that he was humble, but he did it out of genuine devotion for the pleasure of the Lord. He did this not only to make a show to show people that he was humble, but he did it out of genuine devotion for the pleasure of the Lord. He did this not only to make a show to show people that he was humble, but he did it out of genuine devotion for the pleasure of the Lord. We had done it already. You were wrong. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry, 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 sorry. I told you you didn't listen to me. I I was right. You were wrong. We did that. Anyway,、yes. we did it again. Okay, so okay. now we're up to fifty-six. Okay, I'm very sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are there any questions? I don't think so. Ah, um, there's a question. Good. I want to ask a question about the lecture content. Is in that thirty-five verse. Thirty-five verse. I saw this English text. He was praising the poor and the poor and the poor and the poor and the poor. What do you mean by the poor and the poor and the poor? The outcast. What what does the outcast refer to in verse thirty five? Yes, outcast means people from outside the Vedic culture. Uh, 外族就是指的伟达文化，文伟达文文明之外的。They don't follow. They don't follow any of the Vedic principles. 不不只是指的那些不遵守伟达原则的人们。They may be dog eaters. Uh, right, people like that who do things they they don't follow any regulated principles of religion. Um, they also don't follow any regulated principles of religion. It may also be people who have some disease like leprosy. Uh, it also may refer to those who have some disease like leprosy. 
Leprosy. Leprosy is a very contagious disease. If they've got some, some, some then you, you, they would be outcast. They would be thrown out from the the kingdom or from the where the people all live. They wouldn't be allowed to live in this town where all the people are if they have some contagious disease. So those people are considered outcasts. Outcast. Yeah, they're not in. Right. The, we have Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. They are considered the castes, four castes. So somebody who outcast means they're not in these castes. They're outside it. Dog eaters, these kind of people. Gordon,今天那个我这儿接到书记入他们的几个问题 找了一份短暂的这个带孩子的一个工作，嗯，雇主一家人是非常好的一个修行修行者，他们不仅欢迎我服务，快乐娃娃，甚至还对我严格遵守思想基本原则，也非常尊敬。然后现在孩子呢，
Okay. Bring up her baby. Yeah. Well, it's up to you if she wants to do that. If she would like to do that, if she feels that she would like to bring up a child, that's up to her. Of course, later on the couple may come and they may take the child away from you. Sorry, maybe I'm not translating uh, correctly. Sadimadi,他的问题就是说,他想把这个儿女太给的孩子是吧? Uh,那那种公里太的小的那个身上,我们跟他家快乐娃娃。我觉得小孩子容易把他们打破了。嗯。你们这有这个问题。太小了,孩子。对,我觉得太小。应该当。就是可以等一等,是吗?等一等,大一些再说。对。可以给,如果是一个doll,cloth,可以,可以给cloth
，然后现在也有很多这个觉悟，然后他现在就是修行的也非常精进。但是他这个修习呢，只是还是只限于这种配合治疗啊，然后每天念诵三万声的佛号，以及抄写这个佛教的经典。嗯，但是他把那个苏提入帕玛达迪带去的那个佛家梵歌呢，也也供奉到他的这个这个那个佛堂上了。但是他说他现在的这个状况，呃，不敢接受声明，所以说就是这种情况下，他问应该怎么做。他不不敢接受声明，<笑>对，是的，<笑>有什么用啊？<笑>我们可以做什么？可以给他们不杀的，给他们不杀的，他们不，他们不有年龄送，所以我们不容易给他们传教。嗯，他们有你读我们的书吗？他们看过我们的书，就说了把这个书供奉到神坛上了，但是没说读。<笑>他在读他的那些佛教的这些经典，每天在抄抄经。啊，不容易，这样的情况，他们已经有自己的信仰，他们不不容易接受我们。嗯，对，是的，也很虔诚的在修佛。虔诚，可是不相信有神，不信论者。OK。好的，嗯。OK， 哈利克什纳。好 ，Good day， 嗯。还有，还有就是苏提说吧，他有两个自己私人的问题，我刚才把那个录音重新，重新，嗯，重新接一下。就是他这个私人问题，回头我单独发给他。嗯，就是他现在是这样，就是他儿子二十四岁了，然后在准备考这个研研研究生，就是但是两年考了两年，现在都没有考上。所以在这个期间呢，他也非常努力认真，然后也也。自律也，他也看到他孩他儿子有一些很好的这个优秀品质，嗯、呃，面对两次这个考试失败呢，他都还很快就能调整心态，但是呢，就是孩子就为这个走走上社会谋生做准备。嗯，但是他他他他也看到他儿子身上的一些傲慢呐、啊、懒惰呀，还有比较自我的这样的一个不好的品质，他也觉得挺担心的，就是说话言语上重了又怕伤害他，所以说他就想问问咕噜，在这种情况下他怎么调整自己，在这个窥视他直觉中扮演好母亲的角色？嗯，因为。他，我觉得他就是要 ，she should just do her own spiritual practice. I think it's too late, and she's not gonna. It doesn't sound very easy to bring her to. Her son doesn't have any interest in what she's doing. 嗯 ，OK， 呃，就是，嗯，嗯，就是我认为他现在就是把自己的修行做好就好了，因为他现在就是。想要纠正自己的孩子，就是孩子已经太大了，就是已经晚了，过了那个时间了，纠正孩子的时间，而且他孩子呢也没什么兴趣。He's got his own interests. He's trying to get into this NGO. So he wants to study more, do postgraduate studies. It's not successful. His his mind is on that. He's not looking. He's not. He's not a very good candidate for spiritual life. His son, he has his own personal interests. His personal interest is to join an NGO. His personal interest is to study and become a scientist. He has his own desire. His focus is not in this area. He is not a spiritual seeker. He is not a spiritual seeker. So he is not a spiritual seeker. 
But if she becomes a good devotee, if she becomes a pure devotee, her son will get some benefit. So she, she should focus on her own spiritual practice. But to try to influence the people in her own family, they're the most difficult people to try to convince. Because Shruti Rupa has only just recently become a devotee, so her son didn't see this aspect in his mother when he was young. If, he, if his mother had been a devotee when the boy was born, and from his birth his mother had been a devotee, then the boy would easily become a devotee. Mm-hmm. 就是苏提若帕玛达吉他母亲现在七十多岁了，然后现在身体也不太好，嗯，就生病了，所以说他回家在嗯照顾陪伴他的母亲，在这个过程当中呢，就是因为他母亲也不休息嘛，所以说可能
within her mind she should try to remember Krishna. Uh, you, you mean that she should remind her mother or remind herself? Remind herself. Krishna 所以原来定的十八号我们要庆祝节日嘛现在可能就做不了这个联谊了所以我们就只能在家自己个人来过这个节日所以我们想是在上帝当天给上帝做一点做一个布施然后做个祭祀这样好吗可以吗<笑> <所以我们想是>, <笑> 我觉得这个时候因为我觉得我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们可以做这些我们